Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand how to solve this kind of a question. Okay, where you have eight raised to x, but here what we have is forty eight. Now, first very very important thing you need to remember always is that see eight raised to x if we have got it. Okay, let me write it clearly. So eight raised to x we have, and this is equal to instead of forty eight, you can write this in terms of eight. Which is nothing but what eight into six, right? But that is it. After this, we can't do much. So here, in this case, what we'll do is we'll start with log, because you can't do much over here. So we'll apply log on both sides. So now see, here in your LHS, you have something like this: log of a raised to m, and written as what m log a. Okay, so this can be written as what x log eight. Is equal to and log of a into b can be written as what log a plus log b. So this can be written as log eight plus log six. Now, after this, we don't have much of a choice, so we'll divide both sides by log eight on both the sides. Okay, so now this cancels. Now don't make the mistake of cancelling this and this because there's a plus sign involved. So whenever you have a plus sign involved, you cannot directly cancel. So what we can do is we'll split. So we have log eight upon log eight plus log six upon log eight. So this cancels and we are left with is equal to one plus log six upon log eight. Now see, students, this is where you can leave your answer. But if there is a choice given, then we can directly say that your value for x can also be written as what one plus log six to the base eight. Now why like that? Because see, log of a upon log of b equals to log of a to the base b. Similarly, if they had given you the value of x, or uh, they have given you the log table, so just put the value of log six. Now, value of log six is zero point seven seven eight, and value of log eight is zero point nine zero three. So when you do the division, we'll get one plus zero point eight six one. So answer is one point eight six one six. That is the value for x. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.